What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, this build video was supposed to come out multiple months ago. Had some problems with some sponsors for that video, and it never ended up coming out. So this is the lost video. <laughs> the Astilla Prime build video, we're gonna be going over it. And actually, it's good that we waited so long, because uh, DE has clarified what they want Galvanized Aptitude to do. Uh, and unfortunately for them, saying that it's supposed to work on direct hit for AoE weapons. Galvanized uh, Aptitude, the Condition Overload mod, uh, for primaries does not work at all on the Astilla Prime. But that does not stop it from being a good weapon. So we'll go over the Astilla Prime today. Uh, you know, it looks like a rifle, but it's actually a shotgun. Uh, make sure you're subbed to the channel and all that to keep up to date on when these videos go up. They go up five times a week. All right, so let's go over the Astilla Prime stats. Make sure you're subbed and all that. Um, so, stats here. It's a basically a shrapnel launcher. You've got 25%, or we got 21% crit chance with a 1.9 multiplier, so pretty low crit stats, actually. Um, 30 uh, is the lowest fall off, and the highest if you can hit damage from is 60 meters. Um, we've got 4.33 fire rate with a 24 round magazine, two second reload, so pretty slow reload. Uh, and this thing's, since it's got 4.3 fire rate and a 24 round magazine, it feels like you're reloading this thing a lot, which might be something that you want to, you know, mod for to alleviate those reload issues, magazine issues, etc., etc. Uh, we've got 37% status chance. That's pretty good. Uh, and the nice thing about this weapon is the direct impact of the shot has impact damage. And the explosion is going to have puncture and slash, or slash being higher weighted than puncture, with a 2.4 uh, meter range and a 30% damage fall off. So this thing is AOE, and you can kill multiple enemies in one shot with it. It's also Master Rank 14 required. It came out with Gara Prime, like I think like four or six months ago. All right, so I'm going to show you the build I'm going to recommend. Uh, and then the nice thing about this is actually a flex slot. So since Galvanized Savvy, that's what the shotgun one's called, this does not work on either the direct impact, see how it says direct damage right there, does not work on the direct impact of this weapon or the AOE explosion. So as far as I'm concerned, DE has failed at making this mod work properly after they changed the description of how it works. So, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm not sure, like like I said, the reason we didn't really want to test this that much because it's a lot of work to test these mods on every single weapon. Because, like, why is it randomly not working on the Astilla Prime? Who knows? I don't even think DE knows why it doesn't work, which is why we probably will never hear about this mod ever again. But it does not work on here, so don't use it. Uh, like, honestly, like, normalized, uh, normal shotgun savvy is actually going to be better for you on this build than galvanized savvy uh, as, you know, it gives you 10% more stash chance. But moving on from that, we've got a Viral Hunter Munitions build here. Uh, and now this is the flex slot right here. This Vigilante Fervor mod will give you increased fire rate and give you... Uh, increased Vigilante bonus to give your turn your yellow crits into orange crits, etc., etc. With this build, we have 63% crit chance. If we were to proc Ark and Avenger, that gets us over 100% crit chance. And trust me, guys, getting over 100% crit chance on this Astilla Prime makes it a monster. It really, really good. Um, but this is the flex slot right here. So you can run Fire Rate. Um, another mod I really liked is actually this new Primed Ammo Stock, which will make your magazine go from 24 rounds to 50 rounds. Um, and you'll be really reloading a lot less. Because we're running critical deceleration, we're negative fire rate. You could fire this thing off for a long time with prime ammo stock. Um, we're running primary merciless to give us increased reload speed um, and ammo maximum. So you don't really need to run prime tactical pump, but some people might like that for a very, very fast reload. And there's other options as well. But I went with Vigilante Fervor. Feels nice to have a little bit of fire rate on here. Um, and you could maybe go with Heat Mod. If, if Galvanized Savvy actually worked on this, I'd consider maybe running a Heat Mod. Uh, but that's up for debate, honestly. And then the best... Uh, Excellent mod is Vigilant Supplies, giving you increased crits and giving you ammo mutation. This thing does like ammo mutation because it, you know, it's a spam shotgun. You might run out of ammo eventually. Uh, Galvanized Acceleration, wouldn't really recommend it on here. So Viral Hunter Munitions build, focus on slash procs and damage over time. Uh, upfront damage, Corrosive build, I've got Blaze on here for some extra uh, damage as well. You could definitely potentially run some other stuff on here um, as we're not running Hunter Munitions with, with Blaze. We've got Prime Charge Shell for big Corrosive damage. But we're going to run 60-60s on the Viral HM build just to get more Viral procs. All right. So unbuffed, there's literally nothing on us right now that we'll be buffing the damage. We'll go to a buffed up damage test here in a little bit too and show some Steel Path gameplay. So no companion, no nothing. The Vigilante uh, set bonus we have on there is a two set. And we'll summon in some Grenier. This is going to be the Viral HM build. All right. So let's get a little bit closer to them actually so we can uh, see what we're shooting at. So we're going to get a couple kills on these Butchers to get our Merciless stacks up. As you can see, that's the AOE right there. It's a full auto weapon, so you can actually spam fire this thing a lot. All right, we got about 10 Merciless stacks. Should be good enough for a one-shot. So, 94k. 
uh, with no buffs at all. So, now it's not a guarantee to get these big damage numbers with that 63% crit chance, but it technically can happen, and you know, it is a pretty powerful weapon when you mod it like this. So 30,000 on that, that gunner. Remember, we have a Bane of the uh, Grenier here. Very good against Grenier enemies, especially if you're going for a headshot. Let's do a body shot. See how the AoE damage over time is looking. So you can fire in their general direction. They'll eventually die, but it's not going to be like those 100,000 slash rocks you're just seeing there. And remember, guys, that's unbuffed. That's no outside buffs at all. Let's show the corrosive upfront damage build, which is actually surprisingly powerful. Like, I was very surprised at how strong this upfront damage build was. And, um, yeah. I'm actually really enjoying this, the Astilla Prime. It is not a meta weapon. I will tell you that. It is not a meta weapon. And especially the fact that Galvanized Apt2 does not work properly. Kind of hurts it a lot, actually. Um, if you're not running the Primed Charge Shell, you're losing about 5,000 damage on a yellow crit. Alright, let's get a couple more kills here. We're at a couple of Galvanized stacks. Now let's see if we can one-shot this Heavy Gunner. With upfront damage, almost one-shot her with zero outside buffs. So, yeah, very, very powerful. Um, let's do some body shots on the next couple. So, yeah. These Bombards are actually not weak to Corrosive, so let's see how that goes. Not doing as good against the Bombard. But honestly, for body shot damage, that's not too bad either. So, yeah, pretty good um, status potential. It's a shame about Galvanized Aptitude. Uh, I, I, I just I don't even know what to say at this point. Like We've waited four or five months for it to get fixed. Instead of it being fixed, it, be, it became this is how it was supposed to work the whole time. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's still not even working on direct hits like it's supposed to. So, should we just give up? Is, is it just going to be a crappy mod? It just, does it work? Okay, fine. We're gonna, let's go with the test build right here, uh, which will be giving us some more Vigilante bonus from Vigilante Vigor and Vigilante Pursuit, as well as Arcane Avenger pushing us to 100 and something percent crit chance. You will see a lot more crits. You will potentially see some red crits now, uh, since we have a chance to do orange crit. We've got combat discipline. Whenever we get a kill, we take 10 damage. That will proc Arcan Avenger without us even getting shot. Very, very good, especially with a source of self-healing like Gloom on Sevagoth. We've additionally got Eclipse. I don't think we'll be using that in here, though. <laughs> All right, so let's give it the same shot. Uh, no Riven, of course. Now, this thing actually, when it came out, it had terrible Riven Dispo. It's been buffed up a good amount now, and we've got two dots. Um, Rivens are worth running. I'd say as far as Rivens for this thing, you can get a Crit Riven, you can get a Fire Rate Riven, Multi-Shot. I'd say Fire Rate's nice, but I think this is too much Fire Rate, actually. Um... 45% feels like a nice little sweet spot, but if we were to put this Riven on here for 85% fire rate, it feels like we're just shooting through the magazine instantly. I don't like it personally, but maybe you'd like it too. All right, save enemies, but instead we've got some potential increased crit chance of Avenger procs. All right, so let's wait until Avenger procs here. Should proc any moment now. All right, there's Avenger proc. Let's see if we one shot. All right, so you see there's a red crit right there with no Riven. Basically just Avenger and some Vigilante mods. So, yeah. Um, every bullet's guaranteed to crit now. And it gives it a lot more uh, you know, reliability with these Hunter Munitions slash drops, which is what you want on uh, you know a damage over time build like this. Now, if we switch to the Corrosive build and do the exact same test against these guys, uh, it should be an upfront, just one shot, no questions asked. Maybe not on the Bombards, though. So, same situation, just Corrosive Heat. And you could te te uh, technically run like something like, um, you know, a 60-60 heat mod instead of blaze. But as far as I'm concerned, corrosive procs are a waste of my time nowadays. They nerf corrosive procs way too much, and viral is just much better. So, yeah. All right. So get some more merciless stacks here. One shot with base damage on a arid heavy gunner, level 185 with no ribbon. So try body shot on her. Body shot was about three shots, and these guys don't really care about corrosive. So, yeah. So I really don't feel like you need a mod for reload speed on this thing. Merciless is just enough. Um, gets you down to like 1.5 reload, which feels nice and uh, not super snappy, but, uh, you know, manageable. So let's get into some gameplay here, and we'll go over weapon grades uh, before calling it a video. And I, it's kind of late at night, guys. I, I could definitely go more in depth here, but this is what you get at 1 a.m. from me. <laughs> I have to actually record another video after this because I'm working until like 3 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, we'll have time. So Acolyte, Killing Speed. Honestly, nothing to write home about. This is a viral HM build, so it's not a acolyte killing build I have on here. But, you know, it's taken about, like, two or three magazines to kill this guy. And he, I've actually got Eclipse active. I'm debuffing with Sevagoth's uh, Shadow. So it could be better for sure. Um, but I'm sure the Corrosive build would be less bullets to kill that guy. But as you can see right here, um, don't don't look at the Glaive I just threw out. Because <laughs> this, this is no Glaive Prime, okay? It's a fun little weapon if you like 
You know, if you'd like weapons like like a shrapnel glass launcher that has crit potential, slash potential, um, you know, it's full auto, pretty easy to use. And here you go. Like, we're killing, like, look, we're killing three enemies with one uh, barrage of fire here, which can be, you know, that that's that's better than a Soma Prime. That's better than a Tiburon Prime. You know, like the generic normal weapons like Arcada, Prisma Arcada. This is a step above those, but it is not on the level of the Czar. It's not the level on, of the, the Brahma. It's not on the level of, like, Glaive Prime. We're going to have a Glaive Prime video soon. Uh, and that thing is a monster still. <laughs> so as far as act like... Uh, Killing speed, like I said, average C. Mob clearing is B. We're killing multiple enemies in a, a barrage of bullets here, so it's 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 better than you know using something that's super generic, like most generic weapon you can think of. Max says potential B. I want to say it's B, but it's actually probably just F because galvanized condition overload does not work on this thing. So that's the reason the max stats potential grade exists. So maybe it should just be an F. If DE ever bug fixes it. Um, you know, B, it has the impact puncture and slash, and you can proc viral on the direct hit of the shot and the explosion of the shot, which lets you get a good amount of viral. And, you know, if you've got viral heat on there, you can proc viral on the, the direct hit and then heat on the explosion, vice versa. Um, so that's pretty decent, I, I guess. Um, as far as if I would recommend this weapon to you guys, um, you know, I'd say I would. But at the same time, do you need this weapon? If you are someone that has the Brahma, you have the Tsar, you have the Envoy, whatever, you have the Tonkor, do you need this weapon? No, you do not. It is, uh, it's not like there's like a lack of decent, good shotguns in this game. The, the Bavanico, the Bubuniko, that thing eats this thing for lunch. Um, it's not like it's hard to find a good shotgun at this point. So it's going to be up to you. Do, you. do you think this is fun? Do you like the sound effects of this weapon? It has great sound effects. It has pretty good visuals. Um... It, it, is it worth it to you? It's really going to be up to you guys. I like having it. I don't really, I don't use it super often, but I will pull it out sometimes just, you know, to have some fun. The the, the light AOE is nice, um, and it, it does hit pretty hard. Like, there's times you'll see, like, 200,000 damage slash proc with no Riven, and now the Rivens have been buffed up. I'm hoping they get another buff. Um, you know, it it's pretty good for a full auto. Like, bas it's basically an assault rifle as far as I'm concerned, but... Um, all right, don't look at the glaive, okay? Let's just pretend the glaive doesn't exist. I'm not holding the glaive. The Astilla Prime's doing all this. No, it's not. Okay. Um, either way, guys, hopefully you found the video helpful. I wanted to get this video out a while ago, uh, and it's really a shame about Galvanized um, Savvy. That's what the shotgun one's called. Galvanized Savvy. I don't know why. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, it should be working on direct shots. Like, why isn't it not working? Um, we. I don't think we'll ever get an answer on that because DE is focused on the new war. You know why everyone shut up about Yorelli? Because Nidus Prime came out. The way that things work in this game. All right, everyone complained about the new crappy thing that came out. Oh, there's a new crappy thing to come out. Or there's a new shiny to, to focus on. That's, I, I called it. I'm like, as soon as Nidus Prime comes out, people will be distracted by Nidus Prime and not talk about Yorelli. Yorelli is still trash, okay? That's, Yorelli will be trash probably until the end of the game. I don't see them really reworking Yorelli. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the effort. It's not worth the time or the effort to fix Galvanize aptitude on the Astilla Prime. So, yeah, this the way it performs right now is probably how it performs until the end of time, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for the support and peace.